With so many sounds vying for our children's attention, how does one train their mind through music to listen deliberately beyond the repetitive, noisy background to be an intentional listener? I'll cover this and more right after this. The brain can naturally tune out what it perceives as background noise. Sound, in its variety of pitch, volume, and intensity, is all around us. But to learn, focus, and deliberate listening requires training. This training can be developed with the right teacher through music lessons. Here are three types of listening skills students learn. Listening skill number one, intentional listening. Oh, I wasn't listening, a student would tell me after I asked him to tell me about the passage he had just played on his instrument. This is normal in the beginning as students are learning to be intentional listeners. Intentional listening is developed as students learn to listen to what they're actually playing and become aware of different nuances in their music whether the differences are in the articulation, the dynamics, which is the volume, or speed. Students must listen for numerous elements and they must be trained to listen for each element. This practice of an intentional listening prepares and helps the students in all forms of communication. Being an intentional listener helps the students focus on what is spoken to them in conversations. They become more keenly aware of words, phrases, and verbal behavior of the speaker. Listening skill number two, Active listening helps open the mind to new ideas. Learning to look for the meaning and purpose in what is presented is a huge part of musical development. Often children who quit music never have been taught how to find meaning in their music or how to create meaning for their music. These are two very different skill sets but are very important for students who want to excel in music. Listening to music played without emotion is much like listening to an automated voicemail recording. Quite boring. To produce music with emotion and meaning requires the students to be an active listener. Students who learn to be active listeners in music are also very keen on word usage and conversations because they want to understand and be understood. They are no longer passive listeners. Listening skill number three, the power of critical listening. As a critical listener, a student is listening to all parts of a song, analyzing it and evaluating what they just heard, whether they're playing it or listening to a recording. They have to learn to make judgment calls on whether the note they just played was short enough, loud enough, delicate enough, or timed appropriately. This is a musical aspect I most enjoy teaching because students don't realize the powerful skill they are developing. It is taught inside a framework of exploration, building confidence, and giving them the freedom to be critical listeners and to decide how they want their music to sound. This skill is found in many successful world leaders, and they know that to be a great influencer requires one to be a great listener. Hit the subscribe button and the bell below for notifications. If you'd like to get a copy of our ebook, The Five Essential Life Skills Developed Through Music, the link will be below in the description. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. I'd love to hear what life skills you or your child has learned because of music. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.